Mike, what are you planning to do? <laughs> he just came outside putting these on. <laughs> Look how I'm sitting. I'm like, I just, my body just reacted automatically. Like, pink flamingo. my pink flamingo. <laughs> I'm like, what are you going to do? What's the plan? I'm going to retro I have a wooden wooden chair there I can use on your head. Huh? Okay, yeah. No, he's going to retro bright. Mike is going to retro bright. Mike is going to retro bright. Okay. I'm going to use this sous-vide technique. Yeah. Wow. Look. So this is a pan with water. Yes. Here it is. And this is moving. This is moving the keep, work, movement in the water. And keeping it on certain temperature. Yes, it's going up to 50. And when it's 50, it's good. And I'm going to put this hydrogen peroxide in this bag with the key caps. Okay. Um, for two hours. For two hours. Yeah, and two hours is on the cautious side. I want to know okay. what happens. So. Ah, so it can yeah. also mean that it, it will take longer. I think it will take longer. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah. But yeah, you can. Yeah, this is the original color. So this is the original color and this is what it has now. Okay. So, yeah, I'm sure. going to try and restore it as much as possible to this original color. Back to well, this let's original. see. Color. Let's see what happens. Okay. But this is actually for cooking. This is just a kitchen uh, aid thing. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do with this, you guys, technique. for some easy recipes. Yes. The, the, the story behind this is, yeah, I just, I just pulled them off. The yeah, I just showed them. And just showed I it. Clean them all individually with a tooth toothbrush because okay. I don't want any color variation just because they're dirty. Yeah. So I, I've done all I can. Okay. Wear the gloves because this is hydrogen peroxide. It's twelve percent. It's the the highest that you can buy here in Europe, I think. People in the U.S. have thirty and higher, but that's not allowed to be sold here. We need to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. So Meanwhile, yeah. what are these fruits doing here? I'm uh, very um, yeah curious as what Let's they would look what... like. I've seen great results. So this is. This is a, another technique. Uh, this doesn't involve UV. Okay. Because this is, yeah. There's UV. a lot of techniques we saw on YouTube. Yeah, they have variations. Technique. And th they even have a technique involving this together with the UV technique, which is really incredible. But just stick to this and see what happens. You should see results after two hours, at least. Okay. And see what happens. I just realized I'm filming this in uh, not in landscape. Oh, that's, but in uh, that's fantastic. So sorry about that, guys. I know how it annoys the hell out of us when we see it, and now here I am because this was actually supposed to be a short little movie for Instagram, but then I was like, maybe I should just film this. Maybe you can stop and put it horizontal. Technique is actually um, a cooking technique, which is very um, how do you call that hipstery? Yeah where you Val like steal a, the an alternative. ingredients yeah. so that, that can be either meats or vegetables. In one of these bags. And you now in, in a real bag. Okay. And then you vacuum seal it and you just pop it in. And uh, the story behind that is everything that you put in there will be cooked in its own juices. And that is supposed to be very good for you. Okay. Very healthy. So it doesn't lose vitamins. No. It all goes back. It all goes back into the meat. It's uh, warming up quickly. See? Wow, 41. Put your finger in there. Yeah? Yeah. Why? 41. You think I have too many fingers? I can do without your a couple... Your body is 37, so... I don't know. <laughs> it's not hard. No, it's no. not. No. It's nice, right? You know what, guys? Get this if you have a jacuzzi. This is perfect for a jacuzzi. Okay, and if this works, what I'm going to do then is get this casing. Yes. Because it doesn't look like that now, but this is very yellowed as well. Extremely yellowed. Look at the back. You can oh, see. yeah, okay, yeah. Do you, do you see the color? Yeah. 
Yeah. And even the, the, the front part is not even that much yellow, but I will, uh, I will do it anyway. And for that, I'm going to use the cream peroxide and then seal it in the back and use it with the Sufi technique as well. Okay, so you need something big yeah. where you can put uh, this so what I, and what the one. Are these clothing bags? Yeah. You know, where you, if you need to store a pillow or, yeah, or a um, jacket or a winter jacket, yeah. yeah. You can put it in and, and get the, the vacuum yeah. and then get all the air out. Yeah. That is what I'm going to use for this. And then we have a plastic bag or plastic, how do you call that? No, container. container. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that one. And then we put the water oh, in there. Oh, yeah, we, we have a big one. the stick in as well, and that's going yeah. to keep it. I forgot about so you need a big container for this one, true? Yeah, we have the container. We have one. We have a couple, actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So very, very ambitious plan. Very curious as to uh, what it would look like. Okay. It's so crazy because we saw so many people online doing it. Some end up with nice results. Some end up with no results at all. So it really... Yeah, you know, it's, it's very it's, important that if you use this technique, you don't make it too hot. Yeah. Because at 70 degrees Celsius, your plastic will melt. So that's not a good idea. So what's the right temperature in this case? Um, for these little uh, knobs? I was told 50. 50? 50 degrees. So it's almost there. Yeah. Okay. And then you put them in there for two hours. Yeah. I'm putting the hydrogen peroxide in the bag, oh. seal it, and then pop it in. So this... Oh. This... Goes in there. Yeah. Close it, seal it, and then that whole thing goes in there for two hours. Yeah. On 50, uh, 50 degrees. Okay. Okay. Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's really tight. Safety. And it should, yes. Does it smell? No. I hate that. Al alcohol is strong. No, yeah? it doesn't no? smell oh. like anything. Okay. No. But it does interfere with your skin, so... Okay. Please wear gloves. I wouldn't stick your nose in it. My nose? Yeah. I said I wouldn't. Okay. Wear gloves, you guys. I feel like we're uh, the guys from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. It's not called Amiga, not for nothing, you guys. Treat your, your girlfriend, your Amiga, with all the care and the love you can. Let's see if this will submerge everything. Not yet. A little bit more. Yeah? Here you have all the keys in the back. Make sure you guys you get one of these uh, um, and now bags I with hope. lock. They really locks really well. Yeah, better still. Yeah. Get a vacuum seal. I think it's too much water. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. If you put that one in there. Yeah. I think so so. Uh, so yeah, make sure you don't put too much water in there. Yeah. Because otherwise, the weight of the bag will push the water up. Well, and uh, otherwise the water is going to overflow. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Okay, here it goes. I think it's still too much water. Yeah, it's yeah. still too much. I think so too. Okay. Just uh, make this is just water, so no harm done. Just Ooh, make sure. Nice and yeah, nothing sprays in your eyes, you guys. This is just water. No, but what is what is in that little bag isn't. No. Okay, so there it goes. So there it goes. So yes, yeah, so for these little uh, buttons, your your just regular pot is sufficient. But of course, for the keyboard and the rest of the shell of your Amiga, you, you, you're going to have to need a bigger container. Yeah. So there it goes, guys. And wow. And I've yeah. also read that you can reuse the hydrogen peroxide from that bag. Yeah. It takes a couple of weeks before it loses. Before it loses its. Okay. So did you guys get that? So if you don't have enough of that uh, fluid, just you can make sure you can re reuse this. Just make sure you don't. Uh, I don't know. Just do your best. See how you can, uh, you know, catch it in another container, empty it in another container, and then store it for a reuse. Yeah. All right. Here it goes. Uh, I don't know. We'll let you guys know how this turns out. Yeah. We're going to keep checking. 
and I want to I want to do this very slowly. So what so, you're saying is that all those different colors will get one same color eventually. That that, that, that is the plan. <laughs> because I see some gray ones. Aren't they supposed to be gray? Yes, those are different color keys. But they're all all going to get one color eventually. No, oh, okay. No, the so gray ones are, are also yellow. Okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. So I, I have taken a picture. So it just them. it just takes the yellowness off and just gave restores them to the original color, wherever that is. Yeah, there's a chemical process going on in the plastic. Okay. Which um, this color, which yeah, is responsible for the discoloration. Okay. So, what this does is basically uh, trying to reverse the process. Alright. We'll keep you guys posted. So guys, look, we have a timer here. It's, it's been only 15 minutes in 50 uh, degrees. And Mike already noticed a difference. As you can see here yeah. from the keys from T. Yeah, no, it's really clear. It's really so clear that something is happening looks like already. It's happening in 15 minutes. That's crazy. We really didn't expect that. That's a really big surprise. It's crazy. So uh, I think what you can see is what happens with everything. Some will react to it faster than others. Yeah, but eventually, they will all come out bleached at the same level. So that's a good thing. It's crazy. You can really see that the yellowness is, is coming off. It's disappearing. Yeah, it's disappearing slowly but surely. Yeah. Okay. Guys, today we're making homemade burgers. One thing I've learned from mom, instead of, uh, you know, with meat patties, instead of, uh, how do you say that, lettuce and all that, what you can also do is, this is spinach, just drain it, cook it, drain it, and then turn it into... Uh, little tortillas. Uh, the way you can do that is by scramble some eggs and then uh, add to it. And then make little tortillas and use that as toppings on your burger. On the bun. I'm uh, cooking keycaps. Uh, Mike is cooking something completely different yeah. as you can see. I'm using the sous vide technique to uh, cook keycaps. Yeah. yeah. He decided he's gonna give up vegetables and meat all yes. together. So he's not a vegetarian and not into meat. I'm just going to eat plastic. He's a plasticarian now. I don't know if that's a term, but it is now. Mike is a plasticarian. But seriously, it does look good. It does look good, this. this just thing. like me. Just like you, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah the longer the better. <laughs> it's been yeah. sitting there for almost two hours. Yeah, it, it, it is two working. hours already. Two hours already? Yeah. Did you add anything to it? Any uh, more time? Yeah. I added uh, one more hour, so it's now 51 minutes and then it's three hours. So it's two hours and 10 minutes and still going. Yeah. That's okay. Well, it really looks good. Yeah, it does. Wow, look at that. It really worked. Guys, it really worked. Look at that. That's crazy. I must confess, up to this point, I really didn't think it was going to happen because the procedure is so simple. Because I've seen, because Mike has been watching some videos and I've watched with him some of what guys are doing to get this retrovite and some procedures are really, how do you say that? A lot of fuss and they don't give as much result. And this is fairly uh, simple. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and what I see is just amazing. So he's just rinsing them. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. It looks like it worked. Yeah. This this is uh, enough for me. Yeah. This is really, uh, really good. We can take it even further, but I don't think that's necessary. That's overdoing it. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you put this back, then you won't even notice that it's yellowed. It's crazy. Yeah. So, I guess Mike proved that this 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 method works with this huge thingy. It looks it like something from Star Trek. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it. 
So this is it, guys. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. Just. Fantastic. Yeah. To summing it up, to give you the conclusion. It worked. So we can say. Yeah. Simple. Very easy. Very simple. Um, you need to invest in buying that thing. But. Um, yeah. It won't be for nothing. So yes. Well, um, so if you were um, looking for a way to retrobrite wherever you need to retrobrite, and if that's how you came here, we hope this has been very helpful, and we hope we encourage you to go ahead and, you know, try this method. Just remember, don't put the temperature too high, and check every 30 minutes yeah. to see how it's going. So if you're not in Europe, 50 years Celsius, I don't know how that is in Fahrenheit, but you just have to do the converting. I think it's 130. 130? Something like that. Okay, but uh, just on the safe side, just convert it to wh whatever you are. So uh, we're here in Europe, in Holland, so just you know that, that you know how and what. And um, all in all, I think the time was... Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Yeah, I put it in three and a half hours. There you have it. And, um, and I'm going to do the uh, the casing in the same way, and that's that's not very yellowed. No. But I'm uh, going to do it anyway, because it should have the same color as this. Uh, mm. As this? Yeah. You sure this is almost white? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll see about that. There. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do the casing as well. Yeah, you saw how the uh, how the keys went. So the keys went well, but for the casing, Mike is going to try a new method, a new different technique. method. Yeah, we're going to retrobrite it with the cream, peroxide cream, and we're still going to use the sous vide method. So we've um, to prepared. Steam it. Yeah. Um, yeah. There it is. It's been warming up. Uh, for, you know, if you're here for this virtual writing, then I understand that you're here for this. For, for the other people that are watching our channel, just for everything that we share with you guys, be on the lookout for an easy recipe that I will be trying with this method for cooking. Yeah. But back to what we're doing right now. So yeah, so Mike has prepared this, this container with water and it's been warming up. The default is 50 degrees. And the funny thing is, uh, uh, that's what the... The, the factory of this thing also advises you to always keep it on 50 degrees, even if you're using it uh, uh, for cooking meat, vegetables and all that. So the, the temperature is always the same. It's the time that varies depending on what you're preparing. But in this case, we're still doing the ritual biting uh, thing. So, yeah, and I'm a bit more um, I'm a bit more scared to do this than what I did uh, last week. Because this involves the cream, and the cream has to be smeared out evenly. Yeah. Because otherwise, it will react differently on the plastic. You end up with different spots. Yes. Different so that's, you know, I don't want to take this too far. Um, I think um, we'll see we'll see what happens, but I think I won't do this any longer than uh, one and a half hours. Yeah, I so, think. Um, so with this, you have to be careful. Yeah. You cannot just feel free to take the time and just, you know. And walk uh, away and yeah. just leave it uh, in there. And just pra practice the thought of the longer the better. That you can do with the other method that we shared. Well, you know uh, th that you can't do either because you can retrobrite it too far. And yeah, that will that's mean what I'm saying. that the so entire cannot... color. Yeah. So it's retrobriting past the original color. Even with that uh, steam? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, that's what you mean. Okay. But uh, the, your first experience that went well took three hours. Yeah. So I think. But you know, this, um, the difference between this method and the other method yeah. is that with the other method, the subject is in a solution. You know, 
like this because we're going to do the mouse uh, as well yeah the mouse is evenly in the solution all right get it um so it it will get warm evenly and with this it doesn't so 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 yeah just uh, that's what i'm saying so don't take too much time with this no you should be no, careful going to be very careful just look at this because this is also used in the hair salons to uh, blanch your hair. So look at this, approach this as if you're uh, dyeing your hair. You do not want to be in there for too long. Otherwise it might, it might fall off. <laughs> okay, so Mike is gonna do this. You guys get the, oh, this is the male. So guys, this must be a sign from above. Look, it's an egg timer. I ordered this and I had a little issue because yesterday I got a notification that it was supposed to be delivered, but it wasn't. So I sent them an email, but it was just, it was just delivered. But yeah, so timing is everything with this. So now Mike is going to wrap it in this, um, which I've just done, which he just did this thing. I, I don't know the name for it. Saran wrap. Okay. That's what you use to keep your food fresh and just wrap it really tight in there. Yeah. And now I forgot to wear gloves. <laughs> okay. But what I'm going to do? Yeah. Shove it into this vacuum bag. Yes. And then suck the air out. Yeah. You need help? No. I know, guys. We have a small. We have a small ha home here in Amsterdam city center apartment. So we're not as fancy as you guys out there with own workshops and garage and man caves. man caves. Our whole home is a man cave. Oh, look, yeah. it's reached 50 degrees. Okay. So oh, it's so bubbly. This would make for a nice jacuzzi. Okay, so what we're going to do now is close the bag, close the bag. Okay. And then suck all the air out. Yeah. Here we have the, the vacuum. The vacuum. See, this is why always it's good to have the old-fashioned stuff because we have a different vac, different vacuum cleaner. One of these. Hey. It's not sucking the air out. You need to keep them apart. Right, wait, wait. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, okay, okay. Yeah. See? Oh, be careful Ooh. not to dent it. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. Wow. So. It's crazy. Yeah. So Mike sucked too much air out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting I it to be this intense. No, me, no, neither. me neither. Yeah, no. It's crazy. So be careful, you guys. Wow. It has to. I think this is okay, no? A little more. Just a little bit. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, I think this is it. You're good. All right. So we're going to wrap this up and then put it in there and then um, do what we did with the first part of this video. But then again, it needs to sink to the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't want to uh, sink. That's why we took the air out. Maybe we should put something heavy on it. Yeah. Maybe I should sit on it. No, it needs to, it needs to have something on it because now it doesn't sink. Da -da 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 -da. Drum rolls. Drum rolls. So this has been in there for one hour and... One hour and a half. 45 minutes. So almost two hours. Yeah. Um, maybe I could have done it a little bit more, but maybe you I'm, could have went for the two hours. I'm very 
Yeah, you know, this is this is, this what is the see. only strip that yeah. uh, didn't react to that. Um. No, not that much. You know why that is? I have this gasket, and it's smoke, smoky. Yeah, and I think it might have might be something UV protective. I it's think, look, one. because it's this is and what then, the separation happens. I think yeah. because this one has been too long, longer than this, yeah. the rest, so you can't compensate. No, and I was Maybe very, you can, but then... I was very afraid that it would be marbly here because of the uh, cream dioxide. But I don't know how it looks on the screen, but in real it looks like light grayish. So it looks, it looks good, actually. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks nice. And I'm going to assemble it now and then we can make a picture and look at the other picture we took last week. Yeah. To see how it compares. Yeah, that's a good idea. But, but uh, all in all, it's a good outcome, good result. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, especially if you're not going to, um, you don't have, how do you say that? If, if you're not going to turn it into a big fuss, this is really a very easy simple fast solution to retrobite your stuff and it really works it, it works does. yeah i mean it will be something else if you try to uh, pass it for like a new amiga if you know what i mean out of the box if you want to sell it but if it's just for you this is really this is really excellent this is really more than enough restoration of the color so yes so i think this is a success yeah yeah, it's good enough for yeah. me. It's, uh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> yes. So guys, we hope you enjoyed this little experiment. And it's always nice when it has a happy ending. You have to see the result. Huh? You have to see the result when it's all assembled. Yeah? Yeah. But I was talking about what we have uh, achieved so far. Yeah. And then we're going to do a nice shot at the end and it's a wrap. What you say? Yeah. Do you reckon? What you reckon? This is, uh... this is this is it you guys. We assembled it. See, this is where the two components that we shared with you in this video come together. It's very good. So the keyboard and the shell. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks clean. The color uh, looks right. Yeah. There are some scuff marks here and here uh, and here. And I tried using um, baking soda. Yeah. Because I know baking to send soda. It out. Yeah. But I didn't want to go too deep. So it, it didn't come off, and I thought, well, no. just leave it. Leave it. Besides, it gives it a little bit of a character because this yeah. is a vintage stuff. Yeah, it is. So it's okay for it to look a little bit vintage here and there. So, but I think really, the, all in all, I think this is amazing. And I must say, I watched with Mike, like I said, and I'm repeating it, just to stress how, how simple of a procedure this is. I've seen with Mike a dozen of videos of ret retro writing, and they're all like a fuss. They um, involve a lot of stuff that you need to do, a lot of methods that you need to combine. So I'm really surprised that Mike did this the simple way and it actually gave them this result yeah so i'm particularly um, glad for the keys and like i said for the casing i could have gone further but i it's, it's good for me this is it yeah all right i um, i don't want to take it any further no this is good so i think this is a final wrap thank you so much for watching yeah if you enjoyed it give us a like share comment and all that and um, see you guys in the next video. Bye, Mike. Bye, Hus. Bye, David. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. For now, have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And uh, take good care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Bye now. Now, don't be a stranger. And don't forget to come back and check out whatever we share after this video. <laughs>